Hey there. There's somebody in the shop. What are you talking about? Oh. They're trying to get in. Hold on, talk to me. Call the police. Honey, call the police. Hey, Eric, call the police. Don't ask. Just get him to Layla's shop now. My wife gets abducted. And when she's abducted, it starts to open up a series of envelopes, really, that lead to more and more clues and problems that put us into this crazy jigsaw puzzle. Layla! We know there's some bigger meaning here, but we just can't figure it all out. Layla is a really, really complicated character. She is a watchmaker uh, and lives and works in Brooklyn, married to Hank Alston, played by Anthony Edwards. And there is so much more to her as the series goes on that we find out that is not clear in the beginning. We don't know why she was abducted. Police have any new leads? Not as many as we do. I don't understand. We don't know much about your wife, Mr. Galliston, but we know quite a bit about who might have her. You see, we've been working on this case for a very, very long time. I played Beck Riley, who at first glance seems to be a typical FBI agent. But in fact, there are so many experiences that she's gone through that make who she is now so complicated and complex. The name White Benson mean anything to you? No. He's on every no-fly list that we've got. The fact that he's operating on US soil is obviously a problem. What would a guy like that be doing taking my wife? Actually, that was going to be my question to you. What do you mean? I don't think there's a person that could watch any one of these episodes and not be truly amazed at at the story, just the story and how it evolves. Time is a huge aspect in this show. We're clearly winding down to something that is gonna be epic, that is gonna be much bigger than any of us realized, and that includes Beck. I don't think she had any idea what journey she was gonna be on when she first met Hank Galliston. And I don't think Hank Galliston understood just how embroiled he would become in something that is bigger than both of us. A dead strain of demonic, reserved only for the priestly elite. But it doesn't fit, because that language died in the second century. Some wing of the church has secretly been using it for 2,000 years. We're rewriting history books here, Hank. Zero Hour definitely refers to the fact that we're running out of time. We're working for some kind of deadline that's kind of beyond us, but that involves us completely. It's very cryptic. <laughs> I think the fun part is that you're surprised. When I'm watching television or reading a book, I love not knowing what's going to happen next.